What is going on guys and welcome to the behind the scenes of the Bunny Man spoof trailer for Easter this year. Uh, so I want to go over how I made the mask. It's a pretty simple process, didn't use a lot of materials, uh, but I think it'd be a cool, quickie little costume that anybody can do. Um, I guess if you had to put a cost on this, it was like 60 bucks to make it. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into today's video and uh, go ahead and make the scary Bunny Man mask. So first off, where I found this mask in the first place was over at Party City, and I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to get this costume as well. It was on sale for only 50 bucks. Um, I didn't use the rest of the outfit, I just wanted the mask because it was perfect for this. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do any we uh, weathering or battle damage, so I just chopped off like the eyelashes and chipped off a tooth here and there just to kind of give it a little bit of some wear and tear. The cool thing about this outfit is that the ears are opposable, so you can put them in any position you want. There's like these little adjustable strings or plastic things in it. So, I used a lot of this bottle of blood, which I still had left over from last year's Halloween. Uh, and then I'm going to powder coat it between that and this acrylic paint here. Um, and I just dabbed it randomly everywhere. I didn't care where. This process took probably an hour to do. Uh, because I wanted to make it look so gritty, like he literally just went on a freaking murder spree, <laughs> which was basically the idea behind this character. He went on a freaking murder spree, so I, I went crazy with just the paint and blood, and it just went everywhere on this mask, mostly around the face, like the uh, where his mouth was. It looked like he just ate somebody, which was the coolest thing. Um, so this process, like I said over an hour's worth of stuff and it turned out pretty damn gruesome i this would terrify me if you were going to a party on easter <laughs> and then the last thing i did was just topped off a little bit on the back part of it since there wasn't a lot of blood splattered in the back um i just used some black acrylic paint and then got a wet towel and the sponge brush that kind of smeared all over the place in the back so the back of it was a little bit dirty whereas the front had all the blood on it and then I just let it dry for about an hour or two. Um, and this was all on the day that we had to film this video, or the Bunny Man spoof trailer video. Um, and I'm pretty impressed that it came out really good for like the short amount of time that I had on it. And I love it. I think I'm going to use this costume for other stuff. Um, I got rid of the outfit that came with it, but I did keep the pants because I can use the fur for other stuff. But this costume is pretty freaking awesome. If you can get a hold of this for like 50 bucks at a party city, you could turn it into a totally scary... Oh my god, I'm, I'm, that is terrifying. So I hope you guys had a good Easter. Hopefully this wasn't too scary for you. Um, be sure to give this video a fat thumbs up. And I will see you goons later.